Sit back and throw one back with your pinky in the air and a middle finger to the world. And join me, the eclectic gentleman, Stephen Watts, as we look back on this day in pro wrestling history. But before we do, put that drink down, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is July 24th, and we're going to start off as we always do on a positive note. That's right, these are your pro wrestling birthdays. 1951, Texas's own Sweet Brown Sugar. 1975, The Vivacious, Tori Wilson. And last but not least, 1990, one half of the Street Profits, Angelo Dawkins. Of course, on the flip side of that coin, your pro wrestling deaths for July 24th. 1973. Former nine-time NWA light heavyweight champion, Wild Redberry. All right, enough of the sad stuff. It's time to get to the meat and potatoes. That's right. These are your pro wrestling history highlights for July 24th. Jumping in the Wayback Machine and going all the way to 1956, where we see Jesse James defeat Frank Jairs for the NWA Southern Junior Heavyweight title in Nashville, Tennessee, ending Jairs' second reign and starting his own second run with the belt. Grabbing my bell bottoms and going to 1970, Nick Bockwinkel defeats Paul DeMarco for the NWA Georgia Heavyweight title in Atlanta, ending DeMarco's fourth run with the title and starting Bockwinkel's second. Grabbing my boombox and going to 1980. Les Thornton ends WWC and is billed as the WWC World Junior Heavyweight Champion, reactivating a title that had not been used since Dick Steinborn held it in 1960. Two years later in 1982, Carlos Colon defeats Abdul the Butcher for the WWC World Heavyweight title later to become the WWC Universal title, in San Juan, Puerto Rico. This was the first time that the title had actually ever changed hands, as Abdullah had been recognized as the champion since entering the company. On the same show, the Moondogs, Rex and Spot, defeated Invader One and Pierre Martel for the WWC World Tag Team titles. Just one year later, in 1983... Magnum T.A. and Hacksaw Jim Duggan defeat Ted DiBiase and Mr. Olympia for the Mid-South Tag Team Titles. 1987, Sherry Martell pins WWF Women's Champion The Fabulous Mula in Houston, Texas to win the title. Grabbing my flannel and going to the decade of grunge, 1999, Kurt Angle defeats J.R. Smooth in Memphis, Tennessee for the Memphis Power Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Title. This is the first professional wrestling championship ever won by the Olympic gold medalist. Sticking in 1999, Edge wins his first WWF gold, capturing the Intercontinental title in his hometown of Toronto, Ontario, in the Sky Dome. Edge was a last-minute substitution for Ken Shamrock, who had travel issues. Edge was unaware he was winning the belt until the referee had counted three. Those were your short but sweet pro wrestling history highlights for July 24th. I'm the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and we'll see you tomorrow. Oh.